Hi there, welcome to Student Midwife Snook. Today, we will be tackling some topics on their infant care and feeding, and it'll be the APGAR score. Now, what is APGAR score? Everyone, APGAR score is the standardized evaluation of the newborn condition done at one minute after birth to assess general well-being and after five minutes to determine how well the newborn is adjusting to extrauterine life. Now, heart rate is a priority and it is routinely assessed. How do we know or how will, how will we be scoring APGAR and what is APGAR? What does APGAR stands for? Now, APGAR stands for this criteria. Let's start with the appearance, pulse rate, then next is the grimace, activity, and the respiratory effort. When you are scoring for the criteria of appearance, you are assessing the skin color. Now, if you find the newborn bluish or pale in color, the score will be zero. If you now find the baby or the newborn is having this condition called acrocyanosis, wherein the upper or lower extremities is bluish, the, and the score will be one. And if there's no cyanosis at all, the score will be two. Now, the pulse rate, if it's less than 60, the score is zero. If it's 60 to 100, the score is one. If it's more than 100, the score is 2. Now, to get the pulse rate of the baby, you must auscultate, auscultate the apical pulse. All right. Now, the grimace is a response to stimulation. If there's no response to any aggressive stimulation, the score is 0. If there are a cry but under an aggressive stimulation, the score will be 1. If there's a cry on stimulation, the score is 2. Now, let's go to the activity or the tone. So, we're, we are assessing for the muscle tone. So, if there's no, if it's absent or if it's floppy, the score will be 0. If there's some flexion, the score is 1. But if there's some flexes and resistance to extension, the score will be 2. Now, the last is the respiratory effort. If there's no respiration and it's absent, the score will be 0. But if there's a weak or gasping sound or like a gasping of air, the score is 1. But if you heard the newborn cried loudly and strong, the score will be 2. Now, if you got those criteria already and scored it correctly, you have to sum it up. And then, the sum of the criteria that you scored has the following interventions. Now, here are are the interventions. If the score you got is 7 to 10, there are no interven interventions required. The baby is in a well, good, or good condition. But if the baby has the score of 4 to 6, you have to stimulate the newborn's back. You have to administer oxygen. You have to score at specific intervals because the baby baby's condition is fair and guarded. Now, if you got a 0 to 3 score, of course, you have to um, do the full resuscitation. Now, the newborn requires full resuscitation for survival, and you have to also refer immediately if there's no good response at all for from the full resuscitation. Now, the baby is severely depressed. That's it. So, see you next topic. Bye-bye.